Welcome back, honey. Did you have a nice nap? It would be a shame to have to drag you to the altar on the most important day of my life while you were sleeping. It would just simply ruin my wedding. My guests would be concerned and ask questions about you. You wouldn't want that now, would you? But you're awake now. Such a good, good boy you are. I bet you can't wait for today. I know I can't. Couldn't even sleep. How could I? This is everything I wanted. Right here. Right now. Years of planning, plotting, sabotaging your friends and family, ensuring that no one will ever bat an eye if you were to suddenly disappear. <laughs> no, my love. No one is coming to search for you. No one's going to rescue you. Your friends and family despise you, and it went all according to plan. <laughs> Oh, did you hurt your heart? Did it make you all mad when I rubbed it? When I rubbed it in that you've been forsaken by your own family? Well, I can't have you getting you getting your hopes up, thinking someone's going to stop when, well, what's going to happen today? <laughs> and no one will ruin my perfect day. This is the day I spent years to get to. Oh. Are you... screaming? <laughs> That's cute. You know I can't understand you with that gag in your mouth, darling. Your gag is really doing its job, isn't it? I can't understand a single word you're saying. It seems like you're just trying to say how happy you are that you're getting married to me. Today! <laughs> and I even color-coded your nice silk gag to be the same color as my wedding dress. Isn't that awesome? We'll be matching, honey. But I'm not done yet. I have to make sure everything goes off without a hitch. I can't rest until I'm certain that nothing goes wrong today. Not a single thing. <laughs> nothing out of place and everything as I planned. Or... Or else I might lose my shit. I don't want to lose it. Not on my wedding day to you, my love. You know how scary I am when I panic, right, love? People can't see me uptight. Not on my wedding day of all days. <sighs> no. Everything will go smoothly. I've got my dress. I've had it for quite some time, knowing that this day would come. You know I would love for you to see me in my wedding dress. It's one of the most important parts of the wedding planning. And I made sure to select something I know you will love. But that would go against tradition. You know it's bad luck for the groom to see the wedding dress before the ceremony. However, love, you are not part of that superstition. It's okay for me to see you. And it's a good thing because I will have to help you put it on. Oh, stop struggling, love. I had those cups special order to your exact measurements. You're not getting out. And... Will you stop trying to scream? I can't understand a single word you say when you're gagged like that. Although, you do look sexy when you scream into that gag. Wait, what was I doing? Oh, right. I need to get you ready for your big day. I would let you do it yourself, but given that you've tried to escape me, me already, I can't let you do that. I don't trust you, so I'm going to have to leave you in cuffs for now. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> of course you don't. You're going to have to prove to me that I can trust you before I ever decide to let you out of those cups. In fact, I remember that vividly. You had gone untied, and we were about to head out the door. It was right at the time that my friend came over, and between the two of us, we were able to put you back where you belonged. Don't chalk that up to pre-wedding jitters, okay? I would prefer it if we didn't have them at all, especially at my wedding. And don't worry, the wedding ceremony will be a private affair. No prying eyes that haven't been invited, so don't even think about trying anything, okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> Honey, not much longer until you'll be officially my husband. Oh, I'll never get tired of saying that. All of those years of planning and plotting for this single day.
I mean, we'll still have the old names. Honey, love, darling, but I'll finally be able to call you my husband. Unless you want to be, unless you want to stick with the old name. Yeah, I like calling you my husband, too. I made sure to only invite close and personal friends of mine. Someone saw you up at the altar making googly eyes at you. I don't know if I could contain myself. Better to eliminate that from the ceremony altogether, right? Right. I know you agree with me. There you go, sweetheart. You're dressed and ready to go. You do look amazing like that in your tux, but... Yeah, you do look good tied up and gagged like that, too. <laughs> I'll get changed later. You're going to love it. But I have so many things I need to get done, like arrangements for our honeymoon. Well, I'd love to go to Paris or Italy, but given you've tried to escape and I have to keep you under lock and key at all times, those are out. I can't have the authorities realizing that something's wrong. Mm, well, it'll be okay. We'll stay close and do something fun. Give it time. And people forget that who you are or even exist at all. We'll revisit going to any place you want. Stockholm syndrome will surely kick in by then. And I should be able to trust you. Oh, damn. I lost track of time. So many things left to do and I'm running out of time. I don't want to be late for my own wedding. I love you so much, honey. You will be good, won't you? I would suggest practicing your vows while you wait. But seeing as you're going to be gagged through the entire ceremony, you can practice nodding for the priest when he asks me. Asks you. Till death do us part. Okay, love? <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.